All right, folks, Pliskin here, and today I'm discussing strategy when it comes to my various firearms. All right, um, I told Andy Prairie Dog and a few other people, uh, kind of hinting at what's been going on. If you haven't seen my video with my Black Rain Ordnance AR where I put uh, the SIG Tango 6 or SIG MSR 6 or well, I think it's called the Sig Sauer MSR1, the 6 LVPO. I put that on the BRO. And that's simply because the scope mount for the M14A4 came loose again. Uh, but that's been since remedied. That's been about two weeks. Well, it shouldn't be two weeks now that that's been fixed. But this rail came loose on the M14A4. And it's been JB welded and blue lock tighted back into place. I uh, just haven't had time to go um, go shoot. But in the meantime, while the M14A4 was down, we put the SIG MSR on the Black Rain Ordnance AR-15. And thus began a new cycle of musical scopes. We go through musical scopes every once in a great while. Uh, sometimes it happens more often than it than it doesn't, and my computer's telling me that it's uh, it's brain it's it, it's been Joe Biden, so forgive me for that. But um, so what's happening now is is I am embarking on a new crusade that involves multiple rifles, uh, the M fourteen A four, my Saint Victor AR fifteen. And my Black Rain Ordnance M4 SOP mod, which is basically the term I've coined for it, even though it has a PSA lower and doesn't have a uh, government profile barrel. Anyway, that's besides the point. But what I'm intending to do, and I'm going to explain this to you guys, so that way when you start seeing stuff change around, you'll uh, you'll know in advance what happened all right so here's my plan going forward now things are subject to change as always because whenever i get an idea going another idea will creep up in the back of my skull and then it will take over like a vampire and then i'll be doing <laughs> i'll try that out and it's just never ending back and forth but anyway what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the sig msr scope that was on the M14A4, but is now on the Black Rain or Ordnance M4 SOP mod. I'm going to take the scope off the M4 SOP mod and put it on the St. Victor. So that way, the St. Victor is essentially basically kind of like a quasi recce gun at that point. And it'll have a 1 to 6 on it, and then that slim profile. I, I can fight mid range to close range with it in a scenario. But what I'm going to do with the M14A4 is I'm going to buy a primary arms uh, SLX three times micro prism scope. And I'm also going to buy a primary arms one to 10 LVPO. Um, I'll click over and show what that one is here in a moment. I'm not going to right now. I'll probably put a picture in or something on the community or whatever. Community posts. Because it, my computer... I'd spend like a good five minutes trying to find it. Because primary arms offer so many LVPO types. It's unreal. But uh, it's a 1 to 10. But I'm doing this because I plan to have two primary optics for the M14A4. And I'm going to try and make this quick detach and the 1 to 10 that I hope to get or will plan to get. Uh, quick detach too so that way I can take them on and off of the M14A4 whenever I want and just switch out between the two because since that got JB welded to the M14's receiver and barrel, that uh, AMS uh, AMS rail, it uh, basically made my M14 a flat top AR basically. So uh, I can, 
you know, put scopes on and off all day long and not have to worry about it coming loose now. Um, so, plan to have the SLX 3X Micro Prism and a 1 to 10 LVPO. The SIG MSR is going to go on the St. Victor. And then the red dot that is on the St. Victor, I'm going to put on the BRO Black Rain Origins M4 SOP Mod rifle. Also intend to get a quad rail. May as well just go ahead and you know explain some future accessories that I plan to add to each gun. Just to kind of give a rundown of what you what's coming up. Uh, I'm going to put a quad rail on the M4 SOP Mod and going to paint it. Uh, I'm going to try and make the M4 SOP Mod. I'm going to keep calling it that because that's better than saying Black Rain Ordnance AR. But uh, I'm going to try and make the M4 SOP Mod look like it's... Uh, oh, here. Look like a rifle that I... Uh, made in the <laughs> in the call of duty modern warfare 2 see that's the funny thing I, most people when they buy like i'm a gamer gaming has become to this to my generation like football was to like say my dad's generation you know that's just what we do when we ain't got nothing else going on but uh you know, most people spend all their time in video games trying to make their gun, like trying to make a gun. They'll make a gun in the game and then try to make a gun in real life to it. Those who are gamers and, you know, gun guys um, that are around my age, they'll make a gun in the game and they're like, oh, I need to build a real life version of that. Me, on the other hand, I spend more time trying to get my guns in the game to look like the guns I own in real life. I mean, I've already got an M14A4 clone in the game that's full auto. So, I mean, it looks just like this, too. Except it has a suppressor that mine doesn't in real life. But, um, So, I'm going to try and base the M4 SOP mod off of a rifle that I have in Call of Duty. <laughs> uh, camo scheme-wise and uh, uh, attachment-wise. But anyway, that's what I plan to do with the M4 SOP mod. I'm going to put the... Uh, red dot, the Vortex Spark that's on the St. Victor on the M4 SOP mod. And then I may take... The, now, this is another thing that crept into my mind at work last night. I may take the furniture that's on the St. Victor and put on the M4 SOP mod. And it's that way it kind of goes with the camo scheme a little bit. And then get a Daniel Defense stock set for the St. Victor. And just get it on par with the M14A4. I'm thinking that in my head. So, uh, other things I plan to do to the M14A4. Uh, I found a bunch of camo tape. I'm going to tape up areas that I didn't hit with the paint. That I really can't hit with paint now. I'm just kind of add, add to it. And then, uh, other than that, I just scope up grades for my other guns. Uh, work has been kicking my ass. Um, they, the workload now, it's, it's been really crazy. The workload that we have at Amazon right now is more than what we had during peak season, which was back in November and into January. So, oh, my computer turned off. There we go. Um, so pretty much there's been, they've been slave driving us. Which is a good thing because they don't dangle voluntary time off in front of us and tempts, me, tempts us to go home. So we've been making a lot of money. So I intend to uh, start saving up some more. And because uh, I've already made quite a bit. But I'm going to save up and then make all these scope adjustments come, come true. Really, I only just need to buy the primary arms. SLX three and the uh, primary arms one to ten LVPO that I found that's got an ACSS reticle. This has an ACSS reticle too, which is good because it's calibrated for three oh eight and five five six, and they just hold on the hash marks and it will uh, 
do your bullet drop for you. I mean, let, let me see here. Where's my pointer? There it goes. Uh, it has the reticle in here, I'm sure. That will, yeah. Like each one of those steps is a, uh, is elevated, like, you know, already set for 308. Same with 556. Five, That's what it will look like. So, it's already calibrated for 308 and 556, five, so that would be a blessing on a rifle like that, because I could have the close range capability. I could just put the 3X on there and just not worry about it, or put the a primary arms LVPO on it and not worry, and then like have distance capability while still having up close. But that's what I intend to do. And um, the Sig Sauer Tango, I keep calling it a Tango, it's the MSR. Um, the scope mount that it's in is uh, the height is for a AR-15. Now on an M14 rifle, that's way too much clearance back here. That's part of the reason why I want to move this to the St. Victor, because I got that thing so well zeroed out in this in this mount that I just don't want to, you know, take it. I mean, I could could I take this scope out and get a lower, you know, not as high one piece scope mount for the M14? Yeah, I could. But to be honest, one to six. I mean, this was a perfect. This was a great setup. For the M14 A4 that I have. I mean, it worked lovely. But it set up too high. And I could I could change it. I mean, I, I really could. But I want to go the route that I'm wanting to go. Because I could get an LVPO with t that goes out to 10 power. And then get it in a lower scope mount. And then just take this and put it on one of my ARs. On my St. Victor. And, you know, have the best of both worlds. So that's what I'm going to do. And I and the only reason I'm, you know, even, this even came up and all that was, one, the scope mount came loose and, you know, opened the door, let me see what some of my other rifles can do with an LVPO. And two, you know, work being hellaciously over, overworking, <laughs> if that makes sense. But that's, you know more money in the in the wallet so with all that extra money or all that money i am making it's uh opening doors to to uh optics and stuff now to mention all the car trouble has gotten out of the way i would have probably done something similar to this weeks ago but i had to like frankenstein my my saturn ion basically so it had a hellacious problem with its tires and brakes and all that. And that, that was taking time. And luckily I had the money to do all of it. But, you know, it was just like $200, $300 there back to back. I'm just like, oh my God. But I, all that's out of the way now. So I'm good to go and that's gonna go back the gun upgrading is gonna start again and the weather is improving although we are getting into rainy season we had a bunch of tornadoes strike here in indiana last night we was up at work their fucking management was like oh let's have a tornado drill during severe weather you know and not tell anybody it's a drill until after it's over that was an einstein level you know, high I, big IQ moment on their part. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Because seriously, we we were going to the shelter and then like people were saying, no, oh, you know, the power's going to go out. And somebody said, oh, it's a tornado warning. And had me freak. I, I, I wasn't really freaked out, but I was just sitting there like texting everybody like, oh my God, like they're, shut, they're shutting us down up here. There's a tornado. And then at the end of it all, they're like, oh, this was just a drill. And then, like, later in the night, actual tornadoes started hitting down, like, everywhere. <laughs> but you didn't hear them say, oh, let's break our neck and go to the fucking shelter then. 
<sighs> it's retardation. Anyway, this has been Pliskin by 51mm. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.